Yeah, Mark Ward, our local resident artist, I guess you'd call him, he owns one of our holiday lodges here on site. Uh, he paints sometimes in his lodge uh, when, he's, when he's staying here. And yes, yeah, extremely quirky. Uh, makes all his uh, paintings from a model which he, he makes and lights first and then he, then he paints using acrylic. My name's Mark Ward and I paint pictures. I have trained as a product designer so there's the three dimensional connection anyway. But um, really I want um, nature not as it is because it's already superb as it is and I'm not trying to recreate nature and sort of as some sort of technical skill game against nature. I'm really trying a drama. Um, I'm trying to put my creatures on stage. So they're characters and they go on a stage and I put them on the stage and then I paint them. So everything I paint is a still life um, of everything that I see around. Um, but now more and more, because having this place in Norfolk, um, they're Norfolk creatures, so herons. I've got a, a nest of herons here. If you'd like to see We'd love to see it. that, there's a nest of herons there. Well, when it's on the painting, I did a painting um, of these guys, but I put them on a shelf because uh, they're not real. There's something taken from, from nature and brought indoors, so I put them on a shelf with some um, frog wallpaper. But it, it's the painting that creates the drama because the model's okay and it's nice and people try to buy these. But really, these get recycled. These will appear in other paintings, but what is more important in the painting, you get lighting and then you get the stage setting. So it would be a little bit like taking a, if you just had the model, it would be a, a bit like taking somebody off stage and then just standing them in the, you know, in the room. It's, it doesn't work because they need to be performing in that stage, in that setting. So it's the total thing, you know. Um, people count the mind and they smile. I don't set out to create, you know, body laughs, but if people feel, <laughs> There's a sense of humour working there. There's a person behind that, not just somebody who's laboriously just copied nature. Then, then that's the human element in a way as well coming through. Do you relate to the personalities of, of the of the creatures? Very much so. Very much and so. Recurring. These guys, these guys here. Um, it's really us doing ducks because we had a lot of ducks and they come here, they come crawling up on the deck, you know, and the mums bring them and of course the ducks get used to being fed because of all the visitors and they bring the babies and, and they become quite personalities. And we had a, a duck, um, his name is Ducky Doodah, but, but my wife objects to that name, she wanted to give it a proper name, you know, but the duck, and he came on his own even without his mum for right until he was flying and um, so they were they are personalities in themselves and so we, we heard that there was an artist in a uh, pun intended an artist in residence <laughs> um here and, and looking out over the sometimes bleak sometimes the bleaker weather's just superb we were here the uh, year before last in the snow and it was just a white blanket and the animals all came out and we had weasels on that side, stoats on this side, hares. I was looking at a hare this morning, but in the white, it just stand out. We get uh, water deer, we get muntjac, we get everything. And they all come out and play. And you can see them against the snow and it's just wonderful. And that's life. And you can't just concentrate on landscape. Well, you can if you're a landscape painter, but I like the life and, and what's going on. I, you know, it's, it's play, it's childhood. It's that little thing where when you're a little kid and you sit under a bush and the birds come to you and it's that moment of being, oh, there's a robin just sort of a foot away from you. I know that, that there are some artists who, when they're showing, you know, don't attend the gallery. Um, you have placed yourself in the most difficult position of having the, your work hung on the walls of the pub. I know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> yes, yeah, strange. Um, well, James asked if he wouldn't mind me putting one or two paintings, so I brought a collection 
loaded up the truck. In fact, we loaded up two cars, brought some and said, choose from that. And he said, I'll have them all. So now the, the is pub is wallpapered with my stuff now. Yeah. Do you ever sit there with your air cocked, listening for what people are saying? I like to, um, yeah, I do, I do sometimes. Um, I remember when I walked in, when we first walked in, and uh, I had a, quite a large painting, you know, sort of five foot painting, and they didn't see me, they just saw the painting go past, because I was the other side, and they said, that's a Mark Ward painting. Really? Yeah, oh, nice. without realising Mark Ward was the other side of the painting. <laughs> <laughs> so that was quite nice, yeah.